on tonight's show. We have spiritual lifestyle influencer and health specialist, Suki Gale. And now for your host, Cool Paul. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. This is episode 95. I am Cool Cart. Kicking it with Cool Cart. We are back again every Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Listen, if this is your first time tuning in, I'd like to invite you to subscribe so I can continue bringing you this value that all my guests, let me tell you, all my guests bring to you on this show. You can get gems, tools, all types of inspiration, just all types of knowledge that you could take along with you on your journey. And hopefully it helps you out along the way. All right. Last week I had Kelsey Bernard. She is a wildlife biologist. Um, she's doing amazing things with animals. She's actually educating people about coexisting with animals. So you're not in fear of the animals that live amongst you. So you're not harming them. We tend to want to harm, you know, as humans, we tend to want to harm animals that we aren't comfortable with or comfortable around and we don't have any knowledge about. Well, she's in, she's educating everyone about that. Um, she just recently moved to LA. She has, actually they do like contract work. So she was out on, what is it? Isle, Isle Royal, uh, <laughs> Isle Royal working on um, like a wolf conservation type of thing. It's just crazy, but she's doing amazing things. You guys check her out. Make sure you check her out on Instagram. You can check that out. Episode 94, it is streaming now. All of the links are in the description, but tonight, 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 listen, it's going to be uh, spiritual uplifting. We're talking healing. But listen, if you are in need of some healing or you're in need of some insight, if you're one with the universe, the stars, the moon, quasars and all that, this is for you. If you're not, eh, you may not be so in tune with this, but I guarantee you, if you are and you stay tuned, you won't regret it. I have a guest. <laughs> My guest tonight is Suki Gale. Um, yeah, man, she's a spiritual influencer. And we're not talking about Instagram influencing. All right. <laughs> we're not talking about that. So I'm telling you, stay tuned. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a just bring her in the right way, how I like to do it. And then we're going to dive in, man. This is going to be great. Let's get it, y'all. <laughs> Represent you in the right light, yo. Listen, I <laughs> I know what you're on. You know what you I'm saying? Felt, you felt me because that vibration right there. I'm telling you, yeah, that, that was it. Yeah, that was it. See, that was see, it. What I have to put out on the table here is we go back, y'all. I know I've known Suki for years. I know what type <laughs> of vibration you're on. I get it. L listen, hence the music. All right, that's the wave right there. Y'all digging my shades tonight? Are y'all digging it? <laughs> Yo, those are fly. The music intro was fly. Uh, like man. I was just like vibed out for like literally like three <laughs> seconds. <laughs> good, good, great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Suki Gale to the show. I appreciate you com for coming on. Uh, it's gonna be amazing tonight, y'all. I'm telling you. I don't know. A lot of times I know, no, I ain't going to say a lot of times I know where we're going, but I have, you know, some things in mind tonight. I have no idea where the hell we're going. We're going to talk. We're going to reminisce. And we're going to, we're really going to dive into uh, you being a spiritual influencer. Uh, we're talking healing. We, you know, we spoke off camera about uh, people 
kind of jumping on the healing wave and talking about healing and chakras and you know uh just all the spiritual stuff but it's kind of like a i don't want to say it's a fad because it's a real thing but it's more commercial now and everybody's on it but you you're the real deal like i've been on this since since day one yeah yeah day one i gonna... mean i've been called weird i've been <laughs> called goofy i've been called strange but now i'm the motherfucking shit because everybody else is now on it right it's, it's like right it's Accepted. And but you know but I you really do it though with it you know i'm yeah. real with it yeah i i'm just you know i i love that now people are more aware yeah but it, there's still a missing there's a missing link to it there's a missing link to it and we're, we're gonna talk about that and hopefully you can mm -hmm. tie some strings together for these people and what i love about this whole conversation going forward is that I've seen your journey. Like I, I haven't seen you. I haven't talked to you every day, but I've seen the evolution of Suki Gale. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know where you came from, uh, you know, a little bit. And then I see where you're right. going. I see where you are now. And we're gonna talk about that. But before we get going, we gotta, I gotta throw some prayers up in the air. All right, like I do. Every For sure. Uh, yeah. So we gotta do that. Let me take these shades off. Let me, let me honor this man, right? Let me honor, let me honor my spiritual guide, right? Hold on, put that over there. All right, let's get this show rolling. Heavenly Father, we just pray and ask that you bless us, love us and guide us, lift us up. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we give you all the praise, all the glory, all the love. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, all the victory. We just thank you for waking us up this morning. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we just pray and ask that my best friend is at peace and that he knows that we love him. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we just... We just thank you for the time spent here on earth together. And Father Jesus, we just thank you for this show. We thank you for Sookie coming on here and just being able to sh share her knowledge and her wisdom and her, her energy and her spirit with us. And Father Jesus, we just thank you. We just thank you for this platform. We thank you for this day. We thank you for this time. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Yes. Sookie. <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> it's so good seeing you. I it's so good seeing you. Mm hmm. In a minute. I know. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, it's going to be fun because you've come a long way, man. You've come a long way. You evolved. I like where you're going. Like, I met you. I met you in New York in a basement studio when I was doing music. That part. <laughs> you were involved in the music industry. I think you're modeling, you're doing acting, everything, right? Mm -hmm. um i even got a little hold on i gotta put something up here i gotta i gotta show oh, no, you're not no. gonna be able to see it but i gotta show it so oh. but let's talk about this i got i got the video of tank one man playing um you know and, and you know people see it but uh yeah so this is this is some of Suki's early work right here uh oh, yeah no. so she was doing that she was living that life she was about that life uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we both come from that kind of that kind of world, and and we are both. I want to say we are we're privy to it. We we we're we're knowledgeable about it, but we kind of like I don't want to say we're even straddling the fence, but because I got out of it, you know, I still do this or whatnot, not act, but deep, you know, just being deep into it, like we were. Mm -hmm. I'm not there anymore. I know I'm not there anymore. I don't want to be there anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, whatever, wherever this takes me, I know that I won't be living that life. You know what I'm saying? I won't be about that life. I won't be of that life. I'll be to myself and doing what I need to be doing for myself and my family and my loved ones. So I know you came from that. You got out of it. It's a journey, man. Can you even speak to that? Like speak to what drew you away from that and then, and then, and then, and then expound on what that life is like i know some people may not know talk about it well as i said from as far as i can remember i've always been spiritually led i was always looking for the depth in this universe this yep. life but it, at the same time i'm also about fun and enjoying life so okay. you know to make a long story short you know i'm the type of person that i'm going to go after whatever it is that I feel, you know, led to do. And I was led to LA, went to LA, made a decision. And next thing I know, boom, um, 
I'm doing videos, commercials, become SAG, I'm in my acting classes, but I was observing. Okay. I still observed the energy that surrounded that. Yeah. You know, um, so I want to, I want to make it clear that there's people, the industry itself, like you could be in it, you can honor the art and the craft. But there's also an element to it that if you dive into it and lose your spirit in it, it's different. Like, you can go back into it. Mm -hmm. I'm going back into acting, actually. Mm -hmm. Because I love the art of acting. But the whole superstardom, the celebrity, the Hollywood, all of that, that's the false premise of that that, that industry. And And now with social media... It's like everybody's an actor. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That, you don't even know what's real these days. Yeah. So even the art has been lost a mm-hmm. little bit. So, yeah. you know, when I was younger, I wasn't like, as you said, what I love is that when you say spiritual influencer, you can see my life mimicking what I preach. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not just coming on board and all of a sudden spraying you know sage and crystals and shit <laughs> and and saying boom here i am right you know, no right. you've seen people have seen and watched me go through yeah a process of evolution yeah you know and and honestly all of us at some point in time will go through that process for all here on different paths yeah all the time and so this was just my journey my path this time this lifetime and when, you, I was when, young, when you were when you real quick though i'm sorry to cut you off but let me ask you when you were first evolving out of what we knew what i know you what i know you as and what you're in when you were first evolving were people looking at you like crazy did people not understand did you lose people along the way talk to me now hmm? people still think i'm fucking crazy <laughs> <laughs> like but see here's here's the beauty of it i come to When you start evolving, the evolution comes from within. You start loving yourself. Yeah. And you don't care what anyone says, their opinions, because the God we're seeking for is inside of us. Yeah, absolutely. That light, that love. Yeah. Like when you have that wholeheartedly, it's like literally fucks the world but it's not like in a demeaning malicious i'm angry at the world it's more like world this is me yeah accept me as me yeah so going back to what i'm saying like when i was younger you know i saw you know all i wanted to do was act but i kept going to all these dinner meetings false you know all these whatever they're gonna do for me and i'm like and it was pre Weinstein and whatever. Yeah. Like I saw that shit way back then. And I was like, promises, all I want to do is act. I'm right. not trying to screw my way to the top. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, you know what? At this time, it was time for me to exit out. Yeah, I got to step away. I exited out yeah. for a long time, 20 years. Yeah, I left for like 10. I left for like 10. And then like, it followed me down here. Honestly, Mm -hmm. I left for like 10. I I moved to um, Atlanta. And then the film industry just came here. And I was like, oh. Right, Tyler Perry. I'm back in, you know what I mean? And it's crazy. All these studios out here. So yeah, I get it. But go ahead. Well, when you go back into it now, being older, wiser, Mm -hmm. more secure in who you are, it's, 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 you don't lose yourself in the madness. You just yeah. watch everything. Yeah. All you want to do is act. You want to you know? handle your business, just work the crap, um, all that yeah. other stuff. You've done it. You've been there. It's like, man, I, no, you know better. You know better. You know what I'm saying? You know better. Yeah. And, and it's okay. Like, you know, and, and here's the thing too, anybody that's watching, I don't want you to take this as we're sitting up here talking about, you can't have a good time. You can't enjoy yourself. You got to yeah. be like a nun or a monk. No. <laughs> It's just yeah. you, you, you know, you can go out to your to your social gatherings, be a little social, and then take your ass home. You ain't gotta be out right. there all times of the night when the bull starts happening, or be up in somebody's face, or they all, yo, you know what I mean? Like, know, just know what your purpose is in that path and on that path. You know what I'm saying? And oh, yeah. that's it. Just being yeah. watching about it. Yeah, I and mean, that, I was out there. I went to many parties. Right, but. <laughs> 
you know, I wanted to see what was going on. You know, yeah. what was all this about? But no, yeah. I wasn't caught up in it. I wasn't yeah. caught up in it. I had my fun and I went home. Yeah. I went home. Yeah. Like you know? it's it's crazy because when you you know when you're living in your purpose and you know, and you know better, none of that stuff even moves you. No, I could care less. Honestly, me, I could care less if I'm at the social gathering. Do I need to be there because of the business and you got a network and even yeah. I don't even care about that. But should you? Yeah. Probably so. You know. But yeah, I could. If I were to miss it. And I did miss a business opportunity. I'm so, listen. I'm at the point right now. I I promise you, I still could care less. Yeah. Because if it's for me, it's gonna be there for me. I, I'm gonna mm -hmm. get what what's there for me. So yeah. if, if I miss the hottest party in town that weekend or for the month or whatever, yeah. I, I don't care. Yeah, because the filter is off. You have to understand. We're walking around here with filters. And you can't be mad at the ones who still got the shades that you had on earlier. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put them back on. Go ahead. Put them back on. They put these things. Put, put them back on. See? So now you're looking at the world differently. <laughs> you know, you feel feeling different. You know what I'm saying? You rocking. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely looking at it different. So, I got my but then when you take them all off, in here. <laughs> yeah. You take them off and you're like, you see shit differently. Yeah, definitely. But a lot of people don't see yeah and you know we need all three absolutely see. absolutely which they have no, no idea if you really want to see you could close these eyes and see yeah like this, you know no idea but you got and see just the thing you got to be careful with that one because if you're not there if you're not ready for that it, it won't be good coming out of that it won't no. be good going in that you know what I'm no. saying? that's a whole other dimension yeah that's um you know, there's this thing called the dark night of the soul. And when you go through that process, it's it's not something that's easy. Mm -hmm. And that's something I had to go through and just to kind of lump somehow I got even further my evolution, you know, like I had to go through one of the worst divorce and situations betrayal that I've ever had to experience in my life on every level. Mm -hmm. But the thing that was my path. And it's still my path now. I'm still going through some stuff. But, you know, long story short, whenever somebody is ready to face themselves, which 98% of people don't want to do, mm -hmm. that's only when you're going to start your process of evolution because it comes from inside. It comes yeah. from you. Yeah. Everything is pushed out. It's the same, I'm pretty sure everybody knows, as above so below as within so without everything that you see it's hard to actually overstand that but your surroundings your environment your life is what you created yeah. and i know and i'm not speaking against anybody's religion or beliefs because they all serve a purpose but when you really research dig down and and go within you will see that every religion, every spirituality says the same thing. It is from inside of us. Even Christianity says that the temple is within us. Yeah. That Christ is within us. It's 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 the uh, the organized religion that says seek outside of you. Yeah. You know, so you're always chasing this carrot, and you'll always chase the carrot. The carrot is never going to be God because it's within. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, that's that's an extreme power. You know, they don't want you to have that power. And that speaks yeah. to, and that speaks to just, um, you know, being kind and showing gratitude and empathy and all that, right? Because I always tell people, you know, people, you got these religions who are who are who are debating over <laughs> at war over what God looks like, who is God, white guy, black guy. No, what God looks like is the empathy I can show you, loving you, being you know, right. and like really right. and genuine and 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 just doing for you that's what god looks like you show that's, people what god looks yeah. like that's what god looks like because god is within or whatever right. god is or yours you know what i mean whatever right. whatever you worship it's from within right but that's what it looks like me exactly. you unconditionally exactly that's what it, exactly like exactly and that whole warring against each other that's the carrot like it will never end it will never, never. end never ever end so 
you know, I got to this place in my life now where, I mean, I'm 45 and I feel like I'm just now touching the rim of like, Oh, you're free. Real living. Yeah, you're free. I can tell. I can say. I can. I can just tell. Like I don't talk to you every day. I'm just saying. I'm being serious. You're free. You're free. totally free. I can feel it. I see it. Yeah. You move yeah. completely different, man. Differently yeah. from anybody I know. From and it's like, like I was saying earlier, it's like you are in tune to what's going on, but you're not of what's going on. I see that. Yeah. And it's different. And to most people to be like, man, she's a little strange. Like, no, but I get it because I'm there. Like, I may not live exactly like you. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably a little fine. bit more. You know? I'm probably a little bit more. Um, I'm detached. I am detached from this pop culture crap. I really am. But I'm probably a little bit more in tune, a little bit more involved, I guess, because I do this. Maybe. I don't know. I keep my ear to the streets kind of sort of. Mm -hmm. But. I get, I get you. I get where you're. I get where you are. I get what you're doing. I see what you're doing. But you're free, like you are free. And if people can't see that, here's the thing: that probably bothers people. It probably now I want to say bothers and make yeah. them uncomfortable because oh, they yeah. don't understand how you can just be so carefree when they're yeah. all uptight about. Oh, I didn't get a bag or I didn't this yeah. or I didn't that and you over here talking about the sun, the moon, the stars, the quasars, canoeing exactly. and biking and you exactly. know healing and like they be like, what the hell is she talking about? You know what I mean? Right? What's she on? And she's always happy. <laughs> I'm on that air. I was outside <laughs> from eight AM today till almost damn five o'clock on the water, underneath a tree, kayaking. You know, doing stuff that normal people, you know, they, this is, you know, you got to be outside in the elements, but yeah. you know, most of the time we're inside. Yeah. This, all this stuff is dead stuff around us. We surround ourselves with, you know, dead shit, you know, right. it's all vibratory, but it's still not vibrating like the trees and the air and the, yeah. you know, the sun on the outside. You, you know, know what? Kind of... Something just hit me. What? A lot of what you are. It's almost like, it's almost like living off the land, right? Follow me here. Cause I think about this all the time. I sit here and I look around, I look around this room and I'm just like, dang, every single thing, just really think about this. Like let this sink in and then we're going to go where I'm going. Every mm -hmm. single thing you're sitting and looking at or sitting on or feeling a man created it. Right? Yeah. It had it came up right. an idea and it's been manufactured. Like, tear down all of this. If there were no ideas and nothing manufactured, we'd be standing on just dirt and land, right? Right. You you've gotten back to that. Right. Even yeah. though you live in, like, like I'm saying, even though you live in a house and you got a bike and yeah. you got a car, but you've gotten back to that. You're on yeah. the water, canoeing, you're under a tree, like spirituality, healing energy yeah. all yeah. Of, like that's the source that's it yeah. you're back yeah. to that while everybody else is on instagram software technology car yeah. clothes shoes birkin bags worshiping, <laughs> worshiping celebrities that's some ugly ass bag you just let you know yeah what the fuck man Come that on. to me and i'm Come sorry on, i just had to plug that i don't give I don't care who says it. That's some ugly ass bag y'all wear. Well, first of all, twelve thousand, whatever. Damn. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm with people, this voice. <laughs> people think I'm crazy when I tell them, and I don't care how much money, how much money is in my bank account. I will never spend that type of money on a bag. I will never spend that type of money on these cars these people spend on these cars. I, I won't do it for what? No. For well, what? You know, so uh, there's your balance. Okay. So here's the thing. If you have a certain amount, like I said, it's just to me the the representation of what a Birkin is. To me, I don't see it. I don't see the value in it. Me but other people do. But I think because it's more trendy. But there are certain bags per se that has a lot more. I would say um, a certain type of material, a certain type of design, a certain 
more into that that will cost more than that bag. But I don't know because I don't have a Bergen. I never researched Bergen, but from what I look at it, I don't see. Is it made out of ostrich or something? What is it? I don't alligator? Know, it or is it just be. plain old? Oh, I thought you were about to go reach for a Bergen. Oh, no, bag. no, no. I, like, I mean, it could be, but I, I would. I won't find out. Yeah, I, I, like, so that part, you know, people spend their money on what they think is important at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah, for sure. And, and, and you know, and, and here's the here's the thing. My disclaimer is, I'm not saying I don't like nice things. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying oh, it's no, not no. okay to go and buy nice things. Yeah. But I, there, there's just a limit. You know what I'm saying? Like everything's moderation for me. I'm not going to spend four hundred thousand dollars on a car. I might go one eighty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm not spinning them. Like, I was on a Bugatti. Or... I drive an Aston Martin. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not no, I'm I not, get it. I'm I not, totally no. get it. But it's the average person out there who is trying to be like the Cardi B or whatever. Yeah, you sure. don't have it like that, but you're 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 overextending yourself to be what to carry this thing on your arm. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you. You know, like I said, Cardi, she can buy whatever, so be it. You know, kudos to her, great. But if you don't have it like that and you are trying to fit yourself in a a shoe that does not fit you, yeah, you're not living your highest life. You're not being who you're supposed to be at this moment. Right, exactly. You know, you can strive to be, you know, yeah, a Cardi B or whatever, but you breaking the bank and, and going broke to buy a damn bag, it, it so you can look good for sense. others. You can look good for others because that's what it's for, for others. But listen, I was going to say this too because I don't want people to think like, oh, you just, you know, you, whatever, you sour or you miserable or something. No, it's no. None, of, none of that. Because here's the thing. Like, that's what I'm saying. I, I would give hope. credit to, like I said, you a party or whatever by the whole damn world. Right. But the thing is, don't lose yourself trying to buy these material things to yeah. make yourself look like my she's. She is who she is. Right. You are not her. Yeah. Be a different version of you and, and make the money, do whatever. Better but just, yet. You know, you, you got to be your authentic self. Better yet, don't chase the material things that they're buying. No. What they are capable of buying, how about just let that inspire you to want to earn more, to want to make more, to want to invest more so that maybe one day you can buy that and not stretch yourself thin trying to chase that. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Excuse At the me. end of the day, I'll be honest with you, you could get all that and then you're still spiritually depleted and you're exactly. still trying to figure out. And I say this and it's a case in point. If money and success was what makes you happy, there wouldn't be millionaire billionaires killing themselves left and right. Yep. Because you get there, you have you could buy whatever, do whatever, but you're spiritually empty. Empty. And, and believe me, believe me, we, you know, you and me both, we've been around, right? And we know people that got it, right? At the end of the day, it becomes the norm. Just like how you're, you know, you, you might have a, a iPhone 8 and you, my man, this old thing, I'm tired of it. They go through the same thing. It's just on a, it's on a larger scale. It's on a grander scale. We, we're human. We're human beings. We get used to things exactly. that are easily accessible. It's, it, there's no... Yeah. The thing is, when you want to go to the top of a mountain and somebody picks you up on a helicopter and drops you on top of the mountain, do you get satisfaction that you you're on the top of the mountain or do you get more the satisfaction that you in that journey worked your way up that mountain? Yep. You climbed your ass up that mountain. Yep. Blood, sweat, and tears got on top of that mountain. And when you finally got on top of that mountain, you're like, fuck, I did it. Yeah. Somebody drops you on top of the mountain. You're like, oh, this, this looks nice. And now, nice. and now, and now, yeah. check this out. And now, check this out. On the flip side of that, the person at the top of the mountain, yeah, they may have worked their way up there. They sitting up there bored as hell. Why you down there salivating, wanting to get up there? <laughs> oh my God! If I could just get up there, I just want to know what it is. I want to know what it. You know what I mean? I want to know what it yeah. feels like. And that person up there is bored as hell. Why? Because we are human beings. We get bored. We get tired. Well, what? Uh, like my what? adventure races. Huh? My adventure races. Going into my adventure races, I feel like I said adventure racers are, or even any extreme racers, we we embody that desire to accomplish the next thing. 
we would do a six, eight hour race. It would be hard as hell. Soon as it's done, we in the hotel showering, packing up our stuff. Okay, when's the next race? I mean, we literally are like, okay, when, when is the next one? Right. Because we always want, as human beings, we want to achieve, we want to push for something. Yeah. That feels like it's unachievable because it gives us satisfaction to mm -hmm. say we worked for that. Right. There's no satisfaction. That's why we're in this era of, you know, our kids being, you know, not grateful because we've honestly enabled. This is a generation of, of you know, parents who enabled. I've done it myself. Right. Because you know? we all Unfold came from whatever and we worked ourselves and I was like, okay, let's make sure they're straight. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And they have everything. They don't they know, know what it feels like to not have. Yeah. And you get you some know? kids, man. I mean, some kids, it... It hinders them honestly because they don't know how to oh, they, don't, they don't know how to kick into another gear when shit hits of the fan course. and they know and they gotta go above and beyond and it's not comfortable anymore. They don't know how to push themselves to that other limit. They really don't. Life is what it is. It's it's lessons, challenges that is created and orchestrated for our personal growth. Yeah. And without challenges, without lessons, without hurt, without pain we never grow we won't grow yeah for sure you know nothing grows stagnant like you have to be moved and sometimes it's the fire that burns and burns the shit out of you sometimes but <laughs> that's what makes you move that's and that's why and that's why a lot of these kids man are out here suicidal they you know yeah. they've, they've had it good and then when shit gets hard for the first time it's like yeah. oh, i want to die like what the you know? Yeah, and then you got then you got like I said on the on the medical part of that you got pills and thrills for every you know ill right yeah. <laughs> yeah literally literally and that's not how we heal that's not you cannot have a that's a toxin that you're putting in your body to try to heal something like you're people don't realize that every pill is a toxin I don't care what you say yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. You know, I can't, you know, stress that enough. Um, you know, big pharma, it's a huge industry. And I have yet seen anybody healed off of a pill. Hell no. Nobody. Nope. Nobody. Nope. I've seen nope. um, people nope. healed spiritually. I've seen people healed by plant-based diets, you know, taking away a lot of the stuff that, you know, the sad, the standard American diet. Um, but nobody has been healed off of a pill, a let's, prescription. Of let's talk sort. about let's let's talk about this healing. Let's because okay, I really want to get into what you do, right? Because mm -hmm. you're an influencer, and we're not talking mm -hmm. about the gram. Um, you're in <laughs> healing and all the spiritual oh stuff. Gosh. So tell us like what it is that you do, because you do so much. Let's let's get into that. <laughs> well, I am. I say I'm a holistic you know, um, wellness coach, okay. certified health specialist by diploma CHS. And, um, basically I deal with the mind, body and spirit. We have compartmentalized our, our whole being. We have a specialist for the toe, the head, the mm -hmm. eye, but you don't realize that the same blood flows through the whole body. So if there's something wrong with something down here, that same blood is flowing through your whole body. Right. And one, mental and spiritual is another form of food. You know, what you're putting in your mind is food. What you're putting through your eyes is food. What you're putting in your ears is food. Yeah. You know, we don't take that. We, we go to the doctor for everything, but I, I teach people because, you know, we, we came upon this planet knowing how to heal ourselves. We didn't run to a doctor every yeah. time something, uh, you know, was hurting us. Doctors was for like, you're about to die, call the doctor. Mm -hmm. You know, there was trauma. There was two things doctors even still yet is the same. Doctors are good for trauma. And and, and literally for if you, if like I said, if you, you're literally having, you know, you're bleeding, you're, you're, you're throwing up, you know, blood, you've got into a car accident, something like that, you go to the doctor. Yeah. You do not go to the doctors for healing. They cannot heal you. They're going to 
give you a diagnosis of what they think is wrong with you. And they're going to give you a pill. You're going to be like a hamster. They're going to be like a guinea pig. You know, they're going to be like, okay, try this. Oh, here's a new drug. Try this. Oh, that didn't work. Try this. Yep. It doesn't work. So what I do is I teach people to go back to the basis. It's okay. very simple. We have overcomplicated our wellness. We think that you have to have this grandiose, you know, diagnosis and all this other stuff to 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 heal. But no, how else stop drinking that Coke every day? <laughs> right. How else stop eating that bag of chips before you go to bed? Yep. I mean, just simple. And I'm not trying to make fun of anybody who does that. I'm just saying there's simple things that we could do yep. instead of running to the doctor. Because he's not, you're not telling him what you're eating at night. Right. You're not telling him you're fighting with your spouse every night. You're not telling him that you think you're about to lose your job in 30 days. Stress will kill you. Yep. Stress is a form of food. Stress will flatten out your whole digestive system and fuck your whole shit up. And you won't <laughs> even know it. Right. Literally. That's a second, that's your second brain down there. Your stomach is a second brain and we don't even think about that. And so, and we treat our, our stomach like a damn, our, like our whole body, like a, a garbage disposal. We just throw all types of shit in there. Oh, I don't feel good. I gotta go to the doctor. No, duh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what did you eat last night? Oh, a whole bag of Oreos and some ice cream. Okay, so why are you going to the doctor? Right. Because now my heart is hurting. Okay, but nobody wants to connect it back to them. Nobody wants to take the responsibility of saying, I'm doing this to myself. I did this. I have the ability to make a choice to stop. Now, sometimes the willpower, some people will have more willpower than others. That's where I come in. You know, I coach. I, I you know, we're in, a, in an industry where billions of dollars are, are, are um, allotted to marketing against what is real, and what is healthy. So we're, we're confused. And now right. you got the yeah. internet you get all types of information. So you, you just yeah. don't know where to start. Yeah. So I, I simplify that for my clients, you know, I'm like, and it's, it's a lot on me sometimes. So I, I took a break this month because in order for me to really understand your, your dis-ease, your, your condition, your illness, I need to know your family life, your emotional life. You know, your all your background for me to peel back the layers. It's like an onion. Yeah. You know, we're by the time we're our age, we've had a lot of experiences to get us like this that we don't even realize. Nope. That's deep inside that's causing hurt, causing pain, causing illness. And in order for us to heal, sometimes we don't want to peel back shit. Mm. <laughs> it's like I don't want none of nobody to know my shit. I got my shit down pat. It's going to be like this. Yeah. And I'm good. Until you ask to have a heart attack and you ain't good. Yeah. You know? That's that's funny that you said that because um, just the other day my dog passed away, right? And oh, um, yeah, 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 man. I had a fuck. Damn doggy heaven. Nothing ever dies. Nah, Please nothing ever away. dies. Nothing ever dies. He's good. He's good to go. Mm. Um, But I did realize that he basically, you know, him passing away kind of like opened up some unhealed wounds, you know, mm -hmm. and he, I had yeah. really healed from, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I lost a lot of people when I was, you know, younger, when I was a kid, you know what I mean? So, you know, you kind of mask it, you, you kind of move on, you know, it just yeah. I've always been strong and I just move on. So I don't know, man, it just all came rushing back and it was just crazy. So, yeah. Well, it is, you said the other day, it's Mercury, and that's a whole nother, you know, I won't go deep in that, but it's Mercury retrograde, so it's a, it's a planetary, you know, energy right now where there's a lot of releasing going on. There's a lot of releasing going on. There's things coming up back from our past. Mm -hmm. So you are, if we are really in tune with ourselves, we will realize that we are doing things in the alignment of the planets, even as woo-woo as we think it is. If you really, I mean, if the moon we accept the tides because science, you know, our science books told us about the tides, you know, the moon. Yeah. It's the same thing. We're 70%, 75% water. 
Right. You know, so if the if, if the moon is playing on the water upon the planet, why is it not playing upon us? Yeah. It is. And once you start looking into that, you will see that we align a lot with the planetary energies that's going on. So tell me a little bit more about this Mercury now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it goes on until it started like in September, I think 17th, and it goes on till I think the end of October. Usually, when Mercury retrograde, it's these planets that goes backwards. That they're saying they're called retrograde. Mm -hmm. And so, what happens is technology goes wrong. A lot of the people who are in tune, they know, okay, some shit's gonna go wrong. I'm gonna go crazy. Mm -hmm. They know this is during that period of time. So, so wait, wait, wait. So, are you retrograde. saying that Mercury is spinning backwards? There's actually six planets now in retrograde. And so that's why there's a lot of shifting. You see stuff that's going on that the social media went down. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of shifting right now upon the planet. Okay. And there's a, I mean, there's more that's going to come, trust me. And, and believe me when I say it, there's more going to come. I Be swear. Before October 25th, you said? <sighs> Yeah, well, I believe by the end of November, a lot of stuff is going to come to surface. Okay. And um, before the end of this year, um, there's just, you know, as a spiritual being and being in tune with my spirit, I just feel a lot and you see a lot going on, especially with this COVID stuff. It's just, it's yeah. just, it's interesting. So there's, there's, there's a shifting, there's a shifting. So you're sure. telling me right now there's six planets in our solar system. It's in retrograde. Spinning backwards. Well, not technically spinning backwards. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot behind. That's why I said I didn't want to go into it because there's a lot of explanation on that. But just know that there's a time period of every year where they call it Mercury retrograde and how many plants are spinning. And usually things are are not going according to plan. But once you know that, you don't freak out. Mm -hmm. But this metro Mercury retrograde is bringing back and resurfacing old things that we need to identify and just not to go back to. It's just to identify and release. So I did that. See, without you even knowing you was in work in Michigan, look at that. I didn't even know, but it took <laughs> it took my dog to do that. So I guess that's part of the plan. I ain't everything gonna say guess, it's plan. part of the plan. Yeah, I ain't gonna say guess, I know it's part of the yeah, plan. Yeah, everything when people accept and stop fighting against things, they will realize Everything is according to plan. Yeah. And once you realize that we are co-creators in this world, you start planning your own life. You know, you really can plan your own life. If you really sit down and think about all your decisions, all of your collective decisions up until now made you who you are today. Mm -hmm. Everything you decided. Right. Whether it was consciously or subconsciously, you did decide. Yeah, for sure. You know, yeah. and so once you consciously start looking at your decisions, then you you make better choices, conscious choices. You're not just on because subconscious, we're on autopilot. Yeah, autopilot, doing stuff that's but whatever. Where mm -hmm. takes me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't even realize how you brush your teeth is the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You do the same thing, or how you get up out of bed. Right. You know, some people are really programmed. You know, even how they get up and go to work, it's it's the same. Yeah. It's the same. Because, you know, we're mathematical equations and that's a whole other story. Like we are patterns and you have to learn your patterns in order to change them. Right. And a lot of people don't want to face. Like I said, that's, that's that dark night. Of the I need soul. to look at some of my patterns. Oh yeah. I, need... I help people. That's, that's part of the health coaching. I help people to look at their pattern, face the things that, that, you know, cause people don't overeat for nothing. You don't just, you know, go and raid your refrigerator in the middle of the night because you're a happy-go-lucky person. No. A lot of times people do that because there's something going on. Yeah. You know, you can't put somebody on a diet without knowing why are you doing that? Mm. What's happening? Yeah, you see why diets don't work? Yeah. People... They don't know are, the source. They're doing it. These are, these are emotionally driven reasons why they are eating or doing things destructive to themselves. And you got to find out what is the 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 basis of why you are doing what you're doing right i gotta figure out some things i gotta plan better i need to plan better you gotta feel better not plan feel because when you feel 
you know what's right and what's wrong. You're spiritually led. Mm -hmm. It's very, it, you, that's the thing. People make plans, but, and they say, you know, people make plans and, and you know, God does whatever. Mm -hmm. So when you feel, you will know what's the right decisions to go. And you don't even plan it. You just do it. You're just like, okay, I feel, you know, people say it all the time. Like, I just felt led to go do this. And it led to this and it led to this. And then this happened. There was no big elaborate plan. You know, they just had this feeling. No, but and that's I mean. when life is exciting. I, I know that. But I mean, what I mean for me, maybe it's not planning. Maybe it's, it's like I'm the type of person where I have 50 million things going on in my head and I'll get caught up trying to do all of them at one time. So I need to figure out, I need to, I don't want to say plan, maybe prioritize. I don't know, but I need what's to. The, what's, okay, so here's the easiest way. What is, what brings you joy on that whole list? What's the one thing you would do that'd be like, man, I just want to do this. And as hard as it is, because this is the programming, mm -hmm. we think we need to do all the other stuff. When you really mm -hmm. don't, you have to do what makes you happy. Yeah. And then maybe the other stuff will come along. Yeah. But throw that shit out the window, like this whole list thing, you know? <laughs> Seriously. But that's hard to do. Because yeah, we've been taught is. that. Yeah. With a calendar, have your list, yep. have your shit, get your shit, you know, like. Right. But that's not how we were created. We didn't, wasn't created with this long list of to do every day. Every <laughs> right. day you got a to do. Right. To do, to do, to do, to do, to do. It's like, damn, you know, our, my whole life is a damn list. Yeah. Just do what makes you happy. Okay. No list. <laughs> I'm have to try. Hey, listen, I'm at the try it. I got to do something. Cassie, Cause I'm the list, the a. list of job your ass there. crazy. I was there. It was very scary. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm shifting right now. This is the most I've ever, like, was like, you know what? I planned my whole life. My marriage, my kids. I was the, the damn Black Mary Poppins, if I could think of, you know, Betty Crocker, whatever. <laughs> but look at where I'm at now. Right. None of that shit came to fruition because that I wasn't doing what I really wanted. I was following the status quo. I was following what was the, the societal norm, what looked like success, what looked like a family, what looked like this, you know? But my higher self was like, bullshit. <laughs> it's like, this is, this is bullshit, yeah. you know? And, and it's hard. It's really hard to create all of that and tell the world, nah, I ain't gonna do none of that. I'm gonna do this now. Because you know they're scared of what people think. Yeah. You know, for me, man, um, a lot lately, and it's been in like spells. Like I'll say, um, well, you know where we come from. So for so many years, I was chasing dreams, chasing this, chasing that. I got to do this. What's the next move to get here, to get there, to get this, to get that? And I'm just tired, right? I'm just tired. I'm at a point right now, I tell my friends all the time, I'm like, listen, man, I just want to be normal, whatever that means. I just want to be normal. I don't want to chase anything right now. I just want to sit here. If if, if I want to be a kid again and play a video game, I'm going to lay my ass right here and play this video game. If I just want to chill, hang out with my family, hang out with my <laughs> kids, whatever it is, you know, go sit outside and just do nothing without thinking about, man, I got to I got to make this pop. I got to do this. I got I don't want that right now. I'm Listen. really chilling. Like I'm really chilling. People be like, "Hey, man, what you up to?" getting back to me man i'm getting back to me that. like i i'm tired of the hustle i'm tired of the hustle. you're not the only one trust me this is a collective that's why i mean i had a friend really we just went to animal kingdom the other day mm. the first time without our kids you know it's like mm. and it was the weirdest shit but then it was like fuck <laughs> that and we had fucking fun like but how many people would do that right at a spur of the moment and just do it. Yeah. That is what's wrong with us. We've forgotten. What did he say in the Bible? In order for you to be come into the kingdom, you have to be born again, be a kid again. Be a kid again. Be like children. Yes. Yes. Because you get yes. grown up and you get indoctrinated, you you get yes. programmed. Yes. All this bullshit. Yes. I mean, I don't care if you get off tonight and say, I don't want to do another cool card video until next year. Shit, do it. Right. I mean, I'm just saying, I yeah. just literally said, I am not taking any more clients for October. 
And that was a scary shit to do because that's that's how that's my living. But I was like, you know what? You had to I do it. have gone through so much. I need to heal me. Even though I've healed yeah. me, I still need to heal more of me. Yeah, for sure. And I need to not have this list. I need to go. If I want to go kayaking all day and 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 be <laughs> out in the woods. I want to be out in the woods and kayak all day. And right. that's what I did today, you know, and I have my certification. I got two more days of out in the, in the water, in the woods, starting 8 a.m. tomorrow. And that's where I'm going to be till 5 p.m. outside. Yeah, I'm outside. telling you, man, it's the best. It's the best. Like, I feel, I feel great. I feel amazing because I finally said to myself, fuck it. You know, yeah. excuse my language, yeah. but fuck no, it, for real. No, like, don't excuse your language. I'm just. That's the part. What are we excusing? Like, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> it's like you right. know right like, yeah that's so really where i'm at like, like and it's funny because that's you know it's funny because i was so scared going on to like talking about you know hold on, i am real quick hold on hold on hold on, hold on. i gotta say this i gotta say this before i, I lose it i'm sorry i gotta say this i'm to the point where it's like you know for so long it's just been like I was saying, like every day it's like, okay, wake up. Here, here's the thing, okay, in a nutshell, I no longer feel bad. Cause like I would beat myself up cause I feel like, man, I'm not hustling enough. I'm slacking, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm not doing enough or I didn't get this accomplished today like I wanted to do. Like I'd beat myself up. That's no more. Uh, I might've lost you. Where you at, where you at, where you at? Did your phone die? <laughs> Hold on, maybe I can get it back on here. Suki, where you at? Suki! Suki! All right, let's try to get it back, y'all. Hold on. Maybe, I don't know, maybe her phone died. Let's see. I'm going to hang up and call her back. This is a good conversation, y'all. We can't let this one go. Hold on. I'm going to hang up. Got to call her right back. We're going to get her back, y'all. We're going to get her back. Let's see. Hold on, let's go here. We gotta get her back on the line. All right, let's get her back on the line. Let me see real quick. We gotta finish this one. This is a good one. We gotta finish this. I don't see what hit this. There you go. Did your phone die? Your phone died. And I was like, wait a minute. I, I saw it happening too, but I, I was like, I saw roll. it. <laughs> I figured it. I figured that's what happened. But no, like I was saying, like, you know, when I was in the race, and that's how I feel. It's, a, it's like a race, man. It's almost like, you know, I get up every day and I'm just like, yo, what's my next move? How can I push myself to the next limit, you know, to the next level? And it's like, I no longer give a shit about that right now. Maybe I will later on. Maybe I don't know. Because, you yeah. know, you got to get back on your grind. You know, you're trying to achieve things, right? But right now, that's not where I'm at. I'm like, listen, I'm doing this show. I'm going to keep my show consistent. That's for sure. I haven't missed a show in dang near two years. So I'm going to keep yeah. that consistent because I know where I'm going with this. But like everything else, man, I'm not... I'm not in a race. I'm, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. I don't feel like I'm getting behind because I'm being me, being normal. Like, I'm over that. Yeah. I just had to let it go. Yeah. yeah. This is the this is the year and time of letting go during this time, for sure. Yeah. And that's where people, it's hard for people to let go. And um, like I was saying, like, you know, I have never was vocal as I am, this is my first time coming on and speaking like this on any platform. So, hell I yeah, I got the exclusive. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, I have been presented with um, an opportunity to do my own podcast because it aligned. Talk it's called it. Suki's World. And yeah. um, I said, fuck it. I'm going to, <laughs> I used to be scared to talk about certain things. I wouldn't even post about, cause you know, all my life I had these thoughts, Yeah. but I was in the Christian community or I was in a certain community. I was a businesswoman. I was a homeschool mom. I was, you know, I can't say these things, but now I'm like, I'm Suki. I am who I am. I was created like this. I was, you know, God gave me this knowledge and wisdom and 
I'm finally ready to share that in yeah. every capacity. Like I'm ready to share my life. I'm ready to share my thoughts. I'm ready to share my views. And my thing is the beauty of life is you don't always have to agree with what I feel and what my views are, but yeah. I am ready to share that for whoever else is out there is like me. This or, is, man, you know? this is, I, I came to this realization a long time ago. How I feel about things, and so so here's the thing. I won't talk. I won't come on here. I won't talk about religion. We're, we won't go back and forth about religion. We won't go back and forth about politics. We won't go back and forth about sexuality. You know what? Because my view is my view, and it's not up for debate. No. Everything doesn't have to be debated. Everything no. is not debatable. No. It's how you feel. It's okay no. for you to feel the way you feel, and that's what's wrong with the society. It's crazy right now. You Lit. can't. You basically people were telling you you cannot feel the way that you want to feel about something, and you should What's say the... I'm going to feel whatever the hell I want to feel. Right. And you should too. You know, at the end of the day, uh, that's just we. That's just what it is. You know, and it took a long time, like I said, for me to even get to. Like I said 45, and I had to go through some stuff. Like I said, that fire. Yeah. I had to go through some stuff to say. I am going within to find my higher self and I'm going to live the rest of my life like that. Yeah, man. Just like that. Would you would you ever get married again? I absolutely will. Okay, good. Because I tell people all the time, marriage did not do it. Love did not do it. They want to put love and marriage and tie it to this experience that they had with this person. Right. No, that was that was that that one individual that was a lesson but i don't blame marriage i don't blame love yeah, you know for sure. like if the right one came tomorrow like i'll get married again because at the end of the day here it is again it's that i don't care what you think even if i said hey i just want to do something fun i've never went to vegas and got married on a whim at the end of the day because the weight is different for me it's yeah. not like marriage is this forever and ever thing like and if it lasts forever, even better. Right. But my expectations is, this is fun for now. This is great for now. I'm gonna experience this for now because the yes. only real moment is what? Now. 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 Yes. Tomorrow true. doesn't exist, but in our minds, yesterday's in the past. Yep. And right now is the only moment. So if oh, I yeah. want to go to Vegas today because I met somebody who was, I'm like, okay, whatever. And each day. We grow together each day. It's like, yeah, that shit was fun. Now I don't want to do it no more. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, I'm not living my life according to anybody else's expectations. Yeah. yeah. Period. I just spoke Period. about that. I just spoke about that to somebody. I don't know what we were really talking about. But we're. I was like, um, oh, I was just talking about, you know, no man or woman can live under pressure for 365 days out of the year, whether it's from the church, whether it's from the family. You know what I'm saying? To be what quote unquote a husband should be or what a wife should be. Like, no, you no. you're not gonna last. No, you, you gotta continue to do what what made what got you to the point to say, listen, I want to marry this person. Why would you change anything? Why are you gonna put all this crap on you? All this pressure on you? Trust me, you will start taking it out on your spouse. You will. Well, that's the thing. That's because we on both ends. People are telling your wife how to be a wife, the husband how to be a husband, yep. how the family supposed to look. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. It's like, you know. Yes, what works for us may not work for you. Leave me be. Listen, if I tell people this all the time, you know, I've heard through my coaching with people, I've I've heard everything. I don't judge anybody because yeah. we all got some shit we gotta go through right. and, and work through. But if somebody says that them and their wife is okay with having five husbands and wife and that works for y'all, I it's none of my damn yeah, business. Yeah, none of your business. You got nothing it's to do with you. It's none of my business. You ain't hey, you, you ain't one of them in that laid in up. In the backyard, as long as you ain't doing my donkey, <laughs> you can bring that shit to my house. I'm like, hey, do your donkey. Right. I don't know. Right. Not my cup of tea, <laughs> but listen, <laughs> not my right. battle either. You know. Yeah. I ain't got no say so in that. Yeah, yeah no that. I think we're like just in society right now, we're just way too concerned about everybody else's business, everyone, what everybody else is doing and how they're living. Like, 
if it works for them and it may not you know it may not work for you or it may not even sit right with you you may not be a part of your belief system but who the fuck cares as long but as it's it not hurting back you to taking responsibility of what you're doing to yourself so it's easier to look at others yeah what they're doing yep your shit yep. is right here yep. with you know that's why that's why we're in a society where we want to look at everybody else's shit but our own you know right. Right. Yep. and once yeah. you own up to your shit that's when you become the better person like i had to own up to my shit like there's a every, we all got it you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know why yeah. up here like Jesus or whatever, we would have been vibrated up out of here like he did. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't be on this planet. But we're everybody who's here is getting through some shit. You know? Yeah. Ain't nobody perfect. So Ain't I, got, nobody I perfect. got a question for you. I got a question for you. I want you to break some things down real quick. Tell okay. me. Okay, because there's like different, like, there's different sookies, right? Yeah. The, well, there's different names to Suki too. So Okay, but so but I don't know all of them, so I'm just gonna take it for what I know. So so we got we got um New York Suki, right? Then we got LA Suki, and then we got Atlanta Suki, where <laughs> you you came to God, right? And then you you you're married, you have children, then you open your own businesses, and I I always forget that I performed at your grand opening. You sure did, and I appreciate you, you that for that. Business. I appreciate you so much for that. Like that was a great experience. But yeah. so so you got those. So you got Suki who's married with kids. Then you start your own business. You're a businesswoman, right? Then yeah. you move to Florida, and then yeah. you get a divorce, and yeah. you then you're empty nesting. And yeah. now you're on your spiritual journey. You're free. Can yeah. you can you go down that timeline and tell me like what was the one thing that what was the one thing you learned in each stage of your life that that catapulted you to the next or that just reverberated? You know what I'm saying? Like what it was was not being afraid to take a new direction. That was it. And when I would talk to you about subconscious and consciously, mm -hmm. when I was younger, I did it subconsciously. I just did it because it was in my nature to like, okay, what's the next move? Mm -hmm. Now, consciously, I'm making conscious decisions to, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And I want to do this. But all my life, like you said, like without me knowing it, it was already in me to not be afraid to change direction. Right. If it looked right to me and the opportunity presented itself, I'm for some reason, like I said, I know my path during this lifetime is different from others. Um, and like I said, I will go more into that on my podcast because it's a big story, but this is my last time here. This is my last time reincarnating here. Right. And that's why I am more in tuned. I am more, I would say, aware. And I was in, you know, they say old souls. Mm -hmm. I was, I came into this existence with a certain amount of knowledge that some people, there's no greater or better. There's none of that. Yeah. There's just paths. So I'm on a path that I've been here and it's been confirmed. So without me knowing, I was making moves that people would be, terrified to do but it didn't seem scary to me i just did it yeah. so even my divorce nobody would even d did what i did for my divorce but i was like i'm not happy and m my happiness was was the biggest thing that i wanted i wanted freedom and happiness and i knew that that trumped success money everything like i i literally went from having everything and i can't say i live a a terrible life now, but I had to start all over again. Yeah. But it was fine. A lot of people won't do that. That's terrifying. Nah, because they're comfortable. They, yeah. They, and they like the money too much or, or oh, yeah. the, yeah. Yeah. The I don't, thing. like right now, totally rebuilding, totally, you know, relying on the universe, but I'm happy. Yeah. You know? And that's all that matters. That's all that matters, you know? It, it And, you know, when I was married, I had everything. It was miserable. Closet full of shit. <laughs> with tags on it. I mean, seriously. Yeah. With tags and, you know, whatever car we wanted, whatever 
you know, and it was the most tormenting um. existence that I could even think of. It's like, even when I bought something, it just was like nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. I try to buy things to fulfill. It was just like, then you go home and it's it, like, eh. It didn't do it for you, right? It no, like it never did it for me. Never, ever, ever, ever. Because that's not what makes you happy, you know? It doesn't make you happy at all. Never, never, you know? Wow. And that's what people need to learn. So Follow your happiness. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so let, here's another question for you. After all that, after all said and done, and you are here now, is there anything you'd have done differently? And no, and it's not about a regret. It's no regret question. I, I'll never ask any regret <clears throat> questions. Is there anything you'd have done differently? Because you are where you are right now, and you're, you're happy, and you're free. But is there one thing that you could think back on that you might have done differently? I would have been more caring towards my ex, even when he was not. Mm, so you felt victim to going back and forth with what he was dishing out. You gave the same energy? As terrible. And that's something that, like I said, on my pot, that's a whole different story that I'll go into on my podcast. Yeah, save that for your stuff. That yeah, it's, um, I went through a very abusive relationship, um, covert narcissism, and as cruel as he was to me, even now, I wish all I did was show love back. That was the only thing I would have done differently. Good answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, for real. Seriously, I would I would have felt better that no matter what he did, I did not allow myself to go there. Yeah, because you gave um, him the control. But more so is that when people do stuff like that, it's because they are hurting and they are, they don't know it, but hurt people hurt people. Mm -hmm. And his whole mission was to steal my joy and my light. And I should have remained the light, mm -hmm. remained the love, remained the joy, but I allowed him to, but it served a purpose as well. So now I know the deepest darkness of myself to be the highest light of myself. And there it is, y'all. There it is. Listen, <laughs> we're going to end on that note. That was <laughs> she summed it all up right there. We're going to end on that note. Tell everybody if they want your services after the month of October, how they can get yes. in contact with you. Tell them about Be Havana Cultivated Wellness. Talk about that. Yes. We're going to wrap so. this thing on up. <laughs> Plug it. You could definitely go on to Facebook for, at Be Havana Cultivated Wellness um, and message me. I'm, for, I'm thinking about going back in November. All of October, I'm taking off so I could heal myself, so I could be a service to others. Um, but yes, we are on Facebook, Instagram, same Be Havana Cultivated Wellness. And you can message me and reach out to me. I do take on clients at the first of the month. So November will be the next round of clients that I will take. But I am taking October for me. All right. Do they have to live in Florida or they can be remote? No, I am virtual now. Thank you, okay. COVID. Um, <laughs> virtual coaching. Um, um, I do travel sometimes. It just matters what clients. Um, but most of it is virtual. And if you're here with me, it is a plus plus because I love to see my clients in person, but I give the same energy and attention, even if it's virtual. Cool. So there you have it, y'all. If you're in need of some spiritual healing, some spiritual influence, we talking real influence, all right? We ain't talking about that Instagram. We are not talking about all that. This is the real deal. If you're really trying to get in tune, with this with it's just spirituality and you, you know just everything yes sookie's your girl you. go into sookie's world all right <laughs> sookie's world <laughs> hey y'all uh, be a crazy world i'll tell you yeah right she now. hey listen go look at her instagram feed you'll, you'll see <laughs> she a wild I, girl no but it's, it's real good stuff though but if you know you know if you don't know but you're trying to grow then you can appreciate what you'll find on her Instagram feed. How about that? Is that a good summary? Yes, yes, good. I like that. There you go. Cool.
Listen, y'all, we want to thank you for tuning in. This has been a great, great conversation. I really thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming on. Appreciate you always, always. It's good catching up with you. Likewise. Um, Listen, keep in touch. Of course. I'm going to be supporting you for sure. Keep me in the know. If you're in Atlanta, holla at me. Last time you came, you didn't even call. You know, I'll give you a pass on that. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. You might have been going through some things. Uh, <laughs> you might have been going through some things, but it's all good. But no, uh, everybody for tu- uh, everybody tuning in, we just thank you for tuning in and uh, showing love. And if you're catching on the replay, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can take something with you. This is what we do this for. All right. Be on the lookout for Sookie's World. She has a podcast of her own coming out. And um, I will be a guest on there one day. All right. You know. Yo, stay tuned for the episode. Make sure you check her out at SG underscore Sang on Instagram. That is her personal Instagram. Check me out. Cool card. You know where I'm at. All right. Listen, every Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll be right here kicking it with another guest. You never know who I might have. So, Tune in. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Follow Sookie. Follow me. Show that love, y'all. And we out of here. Until next time. Sookie, appreciate you, girl. Thank you. We out.